let's look at the respiratory mechanics of the femurs during normal respiration. As we remember from a previous video, at the pelvis during inhalation, the sacrum counternutates. We get anterior SI joint rotation. Because there is more movement available at the lumbosacral complex than the SI joint, the whole pelvis would tilt posteriorly. Let's look at what that looks like from a femoral perspective. If I breathe in and the pelvis tilts posteriorly, then the femurs would fall into extension. This hip extension is no different than that hip extension right there. Because the anterior SI joint rotation looks like so and the infrapubic angle narrows, you will see that the pubis gets further away from the femur. This is hip abduction. That is no different than this. So during inhalation, we have hip extension. We have hip abduction. And lastly, because the acetabulum, as I fall into anterior SI joint rotation, orients posteriorly, and the femur is going to follow suit, this movement is associated with external rotation of the femurs. So the femurs would orient backwards following the acetabulum. So during inhalation, we have femoral extension, abduction, and external rotation. During exhalation, that reverses. Remember, I have sacral nutation, posterior SI joint rotation, and what happens with that at the femurs is this. If the pelvis tilts anteriorly, or the sacrum nutates. That is hip flexion. This hip flexion is the same as this hip flexion. Hip flexion. The hips also a deduct in this case because the infrapubic angle, you'll note, widens. So the pubis gets closer to the femur. That's a deduction, which is the same as that. Because of the posterior SI joint rotation, the acetabulum now orients more anteriorly, meaning that the femurs will fall into internal rotation because that is the same movement. So for exhalation, the femurs will fall into flexion, adduction, and internal rotation. To recap one last time, Inhalation, pelvis tips posteriorly, hip extension, adduction, external rotation, and during exhalation, as the pelvis tips anteriorly, I have hip flexion, adduction, and internal rotation.